So today I wanted to go check out the last blockbuster on earth. I'm, I'm in Oregon. Uh, I decided to take a little bit of a road trip for the 4th of July. So I've been having fun just checking stuff around. Um, I got an Airbnb that I'm going to be staying at. So I decided to stop in the middle of my trip at the last blockbuster on earth. Let's go check it out. Check the sign there. Here we are. We're pulling in. And there we are. Okay, so before the times of Netflix and before media became so cheap, people actually used to get their entertainment from video clubs, places where you could actually rent videos. And in some places, there they may still be a thing, though they have been largely replaced by red boxes or similar automated solutions, which are a lot a lot cheaper and a lot easier to maintain, but. The cool thing about video clubs is that there used to be this, this whole culture around them, which was amazing. You could go there every weekend with your friends, you chill out, maybe get yourself a couple of snacks, maybe take a look at... Uh, a lot of times you will take a look at movies you didn't even know were coming out or were around. And you ended up either getting recommendations from someone, maybe you struck up a conversation in the aisle, and sometimes you will end up walking home with, you went in for a certain movie you wanted and you walk it out with three or four and those movies turned out to be hits. So I think that that mechanism of discovery is something that the on-demand platforms haven't, have never quite gotten right. But anyway, let's check it out because again, Blockbuster was amazing for its time and Turns out that for vestigial process, I guess, or for or for performatic purposes, I guess, there's still a blockbuster which is completely operational and completely functional in bent. So here I am again. Let's get started. Let's wear. Oh, remember to wear your masks, everyone. We still gotta take take due precaution. Check us out. It is in all of its freaking glory. The last blockbuster on earth. This is amazing. <laughs> also, they have they have curse I pick up for COVID. All right. So until 6 p.m. Check this out, right? New releases. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, so there used to be, there used to be a lot of, a certain culture around video clubs like this. Since you had a lot of uh, stuff on display, usually there were amazing places to get recommendations served to you, or to have somebody actually recommend stuff to you. Oh, they got me tomorrow. 3 for 20, eh? Don't mind if I do. I, I think that I will be picking up some DVDs or Blu-rays, probably. And these places also usually had games for rent. And again, that was a really cheap and really convenient way to play a lot of stuff on the cheap. I had a, I had a, I had a blockbuster close to my house, and, <laughs> and there's a lot of stories that came out of that. Asked, my sister asked to borrow my membership, and then she got a bunch of DVDs. So then she will miss the return date. She will never return them. So I had a lot of fees to my name, and I got really angry at her that she did that to me. Oh, you know, there's a lot of a lot of those kinds of things. I guess are not applicable anymore to how things happen in the on-demand world, right? Oh, 
Oh, they got Trailer Park Boys. That's a classic. Turner Hooch. Me and my siblings love that one. Oh, I haven't. Now that I remember, I haven't watched Strength Spotting 2. The first one is a classic, though. veritable classics over here the people the people that organize the collection here clearly clearly know their stuff the last blockbuster so this is a costume I reckon from Les Miserables it's interesting huh This fan art over here this is amazing. An original employee jacket I can see. Yeah. Newspaper articles and DHA study. <laughs> Some kind of blockbuster brew. Alright. Lots of paraphernalia over here. Memorabilia from the blockbuster days. Amazing stuff. Family friendly movies. 99 cents a day, uh, seven day rentals. Oh, that's interesting. If you ever, if you ever were in need of a rental of the Moji movie, then you know where to get it in Oregon. You can totally rent the movie movie. <laughs> you can try the Garfield. <laughs> you can you can rent the direct to DVD sequels that Home Alone got. They used to air those in my hometown all the time. My siblings and I love this one, the kids. Again, tons of veritable classics around. I'm even surprised that they got that they got cases like this. This is also nostalgic for me in a way. <laughs> That's a classic series right there. Where's a bean? Oh, a pipe or pen. Check out documentaries. Special interest in shows. Back then this was like the, you know, the counterculture. People will discuss this. And when information was scarce, that's how we, that's how you will get your information. Oh, you got Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog at the Blockbuster. Now I can die happy. Yeah, back back in the day, these places were great. Either to trading games, 
or to rent games and play stuff on the cheap. This one is very good. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I'm just. Awesome. So, how how you how you like them apples? That's Blockbuster on Earth. Got myself a bunch of goodies over here. Oh man. That's quite that's quite a drapery there. Really nostalgic. <laughs> there were it, it was just 90 songs and like me and two other people inside were humming along to them. <laughs> that's amazing. If if only for a moment we shared a little bit of connection there. Ah, take a look, take a look at it, take a look at this beauty. Yeah. That's the last black poster on earth, ladies and gents. So yeah, hope you like this little bit of a tour. Yeah, I hope you like this little bit of a tour and thanks for joining me. Have a good, have a good one.